moves have been missed. He fell flat on the face. It was pure embarrassment. Physics have been broken. What the fuck am I doing? The laws of time and space shattered in an instant. <laughs> the wings. Yes, this is entertaining, but the glitches are real. Whoever you are, whatever you do, please don't put this at home. Everyone and welcome back to Super Pro Wrestle Banger, our new flagship weekly show. We are continuing tonight the number one contenders tournament, which will culminate in a title shot for the winner at Summer Blockbuster next month. We are opening the second round tonight with this opening contest: Scotty Two Clarky versus Sasha Rose. familiar music of the Swedish A Scotty to Clarky filling the arena here he comes A former Super Pro Wrestle Grand Champion. Lost that at Fissile Mania 4 to Brick Brickofferson. Has been thwarted in every attempt to get back into that title picture thus far. Will this be his time? Going up against one of the mainstays has never won the big one, the Grand Championship, although certainly has held other titles, including a number of times has held that Pew Pew Championship. Also a former Wrestleverse champion. These two with a lot of respect for each other. That means they will not go easy. Expect a hard hitting one here. Taken down with the kick. Oh, a lot of strikes expected to take place between these two. And as you can see, because they know each other so well, a lot of evasion of each other's moves in the opening of this one. Oh, get bonked, idiot! Both with a good idea of what the other is going to try and hit with. Nice elbow and it. Oh, takedown. Trying for that top chocolate starfish cover. 
as we get a few minutes into this one. Sasha seeming to have the edge. More knees to the face. Just countering with the snap suplex. And again, caught by that European uppercut and gets bonked again. And that choke is illegal. Constricting the windpipe. Swedish certainly no slouch on the map, but maybe Sasha has the edge in that department. Give up. Five minutes gone. Quite an even contest so far. Heel kick side of the head. Fills European yeah. uppercut again. Break. Sasha finding a lot of purchase with that one. Smacks to the oh here we go. Center of the ring. Swedish no stranger to a stiff strike himself. Delicious cover. Too close to the ropes. Leg drop with the chair. Like we said, no holding back in this one. It is Sasha and seeming the more vicious of the two. Swedish not panicking. One, two, three. Oh, Sire Nui, center of the ring. Canal and driver nearly put Swedish away. When you get dropped on your head, you get dropped on your head, you know? Mm -hmm. Counters in here again. I'm finding that Sasha has no defense for it. In the corner, oh, dodged. Oh, looking. For that surfboard drop kick. And that one seems to have angered Swedish. Oh, that's two of the four. Natsuki driver. Black Tiger Bomb! Things heating up in this one. Yuri Nagi! We're just sliding in with a drop kick now. Trying to keep the pressure on. Going up top. Maybe thinking Superplex! Cover! Not doing it yet, Karel and Driver! Flies in with the knee. Yeah. Sasha going back yeah. to that Black yeah. Tiger bomb! Center of the ropes, takes the back. And striking yet again back and forth. Yeah. 
so evenly matched in that department. Dodges the roundhouse. You see, both competitors starting to tire. Sayonui and once more. Scrambles to the ropes and gets there. Could be looking for that softball drop kick again. He just fired back. Hits the ropes, DDT center of the ring. Corell and Driver into the ropes. Yeah. Followed by the Black Tiger yeah. Bomb. Again, it'll be yeah. in the ropes, but think of the damage that is accumulating. Mention Oka Driver, though. One, Hits the Sire Nui once more. And that is it. Scotty to Clarky, the Swedish ace, is going to the quarterfinals. And it was one hell of an opener. Tightly contested match between two people with a lot of respect for each other. But your winner, moving on to the next round, Scotty to Clarky. Coming up next, we are moving to title action. This one for the Reynard DMCA Championship. Lance Winyer, the former champion, going up against Jaguar. Here she comes, them. I was about to say the master, the mistress of the first trap, Lion Swenya. Of course, a uh, DMCA sanctioned match. This one will be officiated by Senior Official. It's Jaguara, who is thus far the longest reigning reign of the DMCA. Ah. Here we go. Certainly, in, in Swenya, much more of a technician than our powerhouse opponent here. And just hauling over in Swenya there. And I back to the anaconda face scoop and a slam there back up dodges the drop kick and thus far Jaguara seems intent on choking the life out of Lion Swinia Or at least choking the title challenge out of Lion Swenya. John Wu in the corner. And throughout this one, Jack Wara showing that she is no slouch either when it comes to submissions. But it is the first trap that she will have to be wary of. 
Delicious cover there. Lines when you start to target the extremities. So they go back and forth. No surprise it is Jaguara that gets better at that exchange. Again, the more physically powerful of the two. It's arm drag takeover, but couldn't capitalize in time, was looking to hit the ropes. Tries for a runner, caught in the power bomb. Senior official was right in there. And now the submission expertise of Lion Swinia coming into play. And they're both going for that. Both using these submissions. Knowing perhaps they're not going to win this early, but certainly trying to wear their opponent down. There's the power that we were talking about. Going for it again. Other way around Coriolis effect. Although that's usually the domain of Super Anus. Drop kicked to the outside. Nice head scissors takeover by Enswinia. Into the cover. Knees and kicks just barring and swing you here. Back to the limbs. Another beautiful head scissors takeover. And swing you starting to take control here. Going for the first trap. First attempt at it. Could not get the submission. In return, tail spin. Nearly got it. Nice Enziguri. The challenger looking to regain control. Looking to regain that championship. Sally DDT. Jaguara coming in with the Finley roll, went up top and noticed the quick recovery of Insuenia and thinks better at taking the risk. Another kick in the hell out of Insuenia here. Lured to the centre, caught. DDT once more. Hooked the leg for the cover, but the other foot was at the ropes. Bring up Stomp. Constantly trying to wear down the champion. Sweet. And looking for the first trap again. Nothing doing, but the challenger in control at the moment as they start teeing off at each other once more. Rolling elbow, but comes back with the enziguri. Nice take over there. Just pure power on display from the champ. And now the giant swing, cracking the head against that bottom turnbuckle pad. Hit the frog splash that time, too close to the ropes, but it will have knocked the wind out of the challenger. No! 
Nice suplex. The cut. Rana. The champion dazed. Not dazed enough. Coming back with the forearms. We'll tie it once more. Just a solid elbow there. Up into the tree of Joey Lawrence. Hitting the leg, because that's how you know it hurts in wrestling. Looking for the first trap again. Jaguara will not tap. Powerful take over there. But it is the spin technique of Insuenia that is having a lot of the luck today. Pops right back up from that Sally DDT into the drop kick. Absolutely floored. And just like that, the power of Jaguar gets the win once again. Ninety-nine percent, a very, very fine match between both women. Your winner, walking out still, Rena the DMCA, Jaguar. Coming up next, we are returning to the second round of the Contendership Tournament. This one, expect a pretty violent one here. Robin Jones up against Geese Walker. Here he comes. Just a hard, hard man. Representing the UBL, of course. Has returned on in the scene here in Super Pro Wrestle with a vengeance. Those terrific matches. Especially that terrific match against Firehawk. Match of the Year contender going up against Robin Jones, more of a submission expert, but certainly no stranger to a hard strike either. <laughs> Likes to tie their opponent up in knots. Referee forever. Craig says go, and we are we are go. Clubbering shot. There is few, there are few things in the world that can prepare you for how hard Geese Walker hits. Oh, going for the Fujiwara. Then into the Coochie Coochie Coo, as we call it around these parts. How relentlessly brutal Geese Walker is. Eats that chop like it were delicious candy. A little bit back and forth between the two here. Imagine Geese Walker versus what would we call him in this verse? Humanity. The hash 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 special, uh, they would call it. And trade the European uppercuts. Neither of them European, the referee letting it slide. I mean, the referee's European, so I guess that counts. Give up. 
sent into the ropes. Rolled through that single leg crab. Targeting the limbs, like we said. Jones does like to wrestle on the mat, but certainly Geese Walker, no stranger to that either. That's some real old school stretching there. Dodges the takedown. Comes in with a forearm. There will be a lot of submission attempts in this one. Oh, I was, thought he was going for the Rainmaker there. And again, not something that Geese might get the win with, but certainly will be effective in wearing his opponent down. Quick snapmare. Puts a lot of torque into that one. Keeps from firing back. Snapped over and again just trying to wear the wear this, let's be honest, a legend down. Trying to pick him apart into that rack breaker. Nothing doing. Comes in with that back elbow. Again, just targeting. Thinking maybe for submissions later. Like we said, he hits so hard, just punting Jones on the mat. Drops the knee. Rolls for it. And again, that single leg Boston Crab. Jones has been targeting the legs. Up back into the rack breaker, though. Nothing doing. Missed with the hurricane. Both back to the European uppercuts. Of course, the winner of this will appear on Banger next week, facing the winner of the opening match tonight. Oh, Hurricane back of the head. And now just the ground and pound. Think of the damage that's been done there. Gosh, style pile driver. Hooks both legs for the cover. But he powered out of that one. Now Jones with a little ground and pound. Low angle German suplex. And this is the thing, despite the diminutive size of Jones, Certainly a lot of power in there, capable of hitting suplexes in the likes. Going for the cross arm breaker. Another big scoop slam. Caught the bread buster. Followed with the Larry. Geese Walker right back up. Missed with the Hurrican. Again, just targeting the extremities. STO! Like a bolt, and you can see how unimpressed Jones was with that one.
Bessler to the floor. And it hurts more on the floor, it must be true, it rains. Least German suplex this time. Jones rolling elbow back in the head. Was looking for that old glory knee drop to follow up. Instead, caught into the brack breaker, and that is it. Geese Walker is going to the quarterfinals. And just like we've imagined, just a hard, hard hitting match. Imagine Geese Walker will be feeling some effects after that one, but nonetheless, he is your winner and moves on to the quarterfinals. Coming up next is a tag team match for the Sickos. The tourists, Yobo Harrington and Wapa Harris, will go up against the newly formed team of Graps House, Cassius Catch Can and Umlauts. And here come the tourists. Getting booed out of the building here. Although they seem to be over in some places. This endearingly honking tag team. And they are facing. Graps House. We had that impressive victory last week over Buck Lincoln and Louisiana Bob. Umlaut and Cassius Cashcan. Making their way into the ring with a slow, threatening intent. Here we go. Yobo Harrington and Cassius Cashcan starting things out. And that is some incredible grappling to start things out there. Swinging punches in return from Yobo Harrington. And a quick tag there from Graps House. Time for the suplex, but the big man umlaut. The chest burster, they call him. Wapa Harris tagged in. A lesser spotted tag team move here. Yeah. Trying for that belly, big belly press. But again, quick tags here. From the newer of the tag teams. One. And he's going for a kendo stick. Got some impact with the, the handle end on that occasion. Come on, bastard. Big splash there from Wapa Harris. Yeah. And you notice they can hit a wrestling move sometimes. There's respective tags, boom like Harrington in the yeah. ring now.
There are some very, very basic moves in their arsenal. They know how to hit hard, just not with technique. There from him, like gets the tag. And that is not where you want to be caught. <laughs> Brutal double power bomb. Harris fights his way out. Lowercase a. -A. Harris desperate to be not caught on the mat in that position from Cassius Catch Can. And here they go again. Low blow. Dodges it, but using what strength he has to drag Umlaut over to the tourist's corner. Low blow! Umlaut in response, a big scoop slam. Turns him inside out with that chop. Harris getting out of dodge, making the tag. Try for a roll up, only a one. It's the ropes. Laps him to the mat. Harris making the save. There is Harrington and Cashcan once more. Oh, the press knocks. Underhook into the arm breaker. Oh, Lance down for the cover. And things breaking down as they so often do in a tourist's match. Rolled through into the catch 22 there, but not on the legal participant. Low blow! And now, Fez press. And again, these tourists, they know how to fight. And that's about it. Back and forth once more. Turned inside out. And making a wise decision for once, getting out of the ring. Nuts! Into the cover! Broken up by Cassius Cashcat. Chopping the hell out of these dudes. Tag is made. And again, we're back to Harrington and Cashcan. Swinging hammer fists. Oh, rolled over into the Cash 22, and that is it. And that's what happens when you get caught in that, when you are the legal participant.
Not a high rated match at all. No surprise given, you know, the tourists, but your winners keeping their. I don't know, I wouldn't call it beginner's luck, but certainly have made a huge impact in a short time here. Your winners, Grabs House. Coming up next is the next match in the tournament, one that a lot of people have been looking forward to. This one is a relative newcomer in Keita Solaire going up against Senator Phillips. The braggadocious center of the universe, Keta Solaire. But certainly has the talent to back it up. And that fire that he has shown has won over a lot of fans. In the short time he has been a part of the WrestleVerse. Going up against, again, much like Geese Walker, let's be honest, this man, a legend in these circles, has won titles wherever he has gone. Arguably the biggest match of Keta Solaire's career. Here we go. You would have to say the one area where these two quite evenly matched would be physical strength. Certainly the technical advantage going to Senator Phillips as well as obviously his vast experience. A veteran in the truest sense of the word. So Solaire very much the underdog here. Irish whip across the ring. You have to say probably if there was a speed advantage, it would go to Solaire. And now Senator was looking to put him up top already. Instead, just jumps on the back. Into the guillotine. Rolls through. We have not seen this kind of wrestling out of Keta Solaire before. And strike exchange, just simple right hands. And Solaire unable to overcome. Those devastating chops from Senator Phillips going for the backslide. A move that Senator Phillips loves to use in his own arsenal. Give up. Trying for the backslide once more. Before dropping that old glory knee drop. Give up. One. Center with a backslide of his own. Crowd impressed with what they're seeing here. with the DDT. And again! Phillips 
Flair in the corner dodges the kick. Big frog splash. Wasn't fully able to capitalize with a follow up though. Both these men love a backslide, so they do. Taking Solaire into the corner and just lighting up the chest. Give up. Makes the ropes. A big right hand there. Tried to follow with the suplex center, gets out the back. Telling the crowd to vote for him. Nice takeover. Step up moonsault. Senator's feet were under the rope, so. <laughs> Washington light it. Pop right back up with a Uranagi. Handspring volley. Senator's back up. Body, body, body. It's the lane again. Superman punch to the back of the head. This one's starting to pick up a bit. A lot of this match so far has been these two just trying to figure each other out. Back and forth they go. Hits the super kick. Step up and salt again. And that is an upset. Chaos Solaire eliminating Senator Phillips. And what is that? That is a huge upset. To get it done as quick as that as well is. Very surprising. But your winner moving on to the quarterfinals, Kea Solaire. Coming up next, the Twitch.tv Championship on the line in our semi main event. The Chugs defending against Drew Mungus. Here comes the big dog. Representing our friends at Dubfree, of course. a much smaller opponent with a big, big heart. Who has been defending this championship valiantly since winning it at WrestleMania. And apropos for this show, turning in banger after banger after banger. I'm the chugs in that. You can't stop them saying it. Fight. Here we go. Certainly, only one person bigger than Drew Mungus has the chug faced in this rain, of course, 50 foot Blake. Big stinger splash in the corner. Give up. And just so far taken the the stratagem of trying to wear the big man down, going for a scoop slam. But he's so big. Oh, 
Then a nice neck breaker there. Before being suplexed out to the floor, Big Hands Johnson administering the count. Gets back in the ring. How do you... How do you counter with something like that? A wheel kick to the back of the head from someone so big. One. Only a one on that occasion. Oh, it's the Braver. Followed by the DDT. Knowing about the history and knee problems that Drew Mongus has. Oh, he's biting him. The cannibalism coming into play. Only a one count off that suplex. Again, trying to chew the finger off. Here they go once more. Knee to the back. Certainly not backing down from the big man. Back elbow. Big standing moonsault. Out the back of the suplex, cat. She's on with the Enziguri. The chugs trying to re retain control of this one. Oh, he's firing up. He's firing up. Shimmy in the shoulders. Sit into the ropes for that back elbow, Jeebus effect style. Going up top. We know he's not a coward. Oh, he's biting him. Shooting star. Gracefully hit. Follows, or counters rather, with the Omni Splash. Both too close to the ropes. Catches the clothesline in the corner. Knee to the back. Following up. NC Shining Wizard. But he's so big, he's managing to hit the ropes. Goes up top. No, a coward hitting the 630. And his height to his disadvantage there meant he was at the ropes. Turn him at the ropes. Nice underhook arm drag. Just a smooth, slick neck breaker there. Oh, setting up for the bonehead play. Guess it. And you'd have to think against an opponent less big. That could have been it. Flips out of the corner. Nice drop kick, sending the champ all the way to the outside. Three. It's a nice drop kick there. Enziguri. Becoming a little bit scrappy, this one. Lift it up for the stank face. Drew Mongus having none of it. Planting the champion up top. What could he be looking for here? Driven down with the runner. Planting the foot on the chest. And maybe with a less cocky cover, we could have had a new champion. Spinning wheel kick. Fires back with the super kick. with the Hurricane Rana. And again, biting the champion, busting him open. Oh, Costa del Sol. And just like that, the champ retains again. Who can stop the path of Chugs? percent as well
And I'm not sure how that got it in one of the other ones, the other night didn't, but... Oh well! Your winner! Still Twitch.tv champ! The Chugs! Also, welcome in, Chester! Alright, next up tonight, it is the main event. Uh, the last tournament match of the night to determine who will go on to the quarterfinals where they will face Keita Soler, who just scored that huge upset over Senator Phillips. This one is Om Perkins versus Rosie Bonbons. Alton Perkins, who only recently made the return to Super Pro Wrestle after a few years of absence. Had that comeback match against Robin Jones, was unsuccessful in it, but struck up an alliance with them. Certainly turning in bangers since returning. And speaking of returns, another return after a few years of absence. Rosie Bonbon's recently making a comeback. And again, this, Rosie Bonbon's a former Super Pro Wrestle Grand Champion. Both in the ring, here we go. The parallels, of course, not ending at the returns, but they both came in originally around about the same time as friends. Lowercase AA. Dodges that Rana. Again, these are two, much like Sasha and Scotty to Clarky in the opener, that know each other so well. And just because they're friends does not mean they're going to hold back. And bon Bon's certainly a hybrid wrestler, a mixture of very refined technical skill and just absolute shenanigans. And rolls in with the cannonball. Back and forth they go. Cover attempt, nothing doing there. Trading and into the the Jiri style airplane spin. Coming back with the Kawada kicks. Romero stretch there in the corner. Won't have gotten the win, obviously, with being in the ropes, but certainly some strain applied to the to the muscles, as with there with the bone arrow lock. Trying for the cover off combo, only a one. Up into the magic roundabout. And there's a technical skill we were talking about. Followed by the tea twister. Mm. 
Like we said, they're not going to hold back. Nice takeover into the cross arm breaker. One. Trying for the, <laughs> the most fire pro finishes. Rammed into the corner once more. Superman punch. Pump kick back of the head. And now kicking the arm out of the arm. It's the bang rang. Could be looking for the dunk tank. Nearly got it. Close to the ropes. And now hits the ropes, coming in with a European uppercut. Suplex to the floor, putting caution in the shotgun seat. Big springboard planche at the floor. Now dragon screw, everything hurts more on the floor. It rains, so it must be true. Going for the plunder. Nice evasive maneuvers, but kicks the leg out the leg. Super kick, but too close to the ropes on the cover. It's the ropes now, takes the back. Taken over. Grounded pound from Bonbons. So back and forth this one. Planted. Not enough. You know, trying to trick the referee. Like we said, there is shenanigans in there with that skill. Wins the game of rock, paper, scissors. Back up. Magic round the boot. Trying for the duck tank once more, got caught, pump kick. Too close to the ropes. And now tossed to the outside. Coming out in lukewarm pursuit. Please get back in the ring, both of you. Stop kissing and get back in the ring. Line it up. Torture rack bomb. Nearly it. Dodges the takedown. Cannot dodge that combo. Takes the back, stomps on the foot. Blocks the dunk tank. Blocks the rag bomb. Teddy Twister. Recount being applied by Forever Craig. Sky high! Versus Irish Whip. Into the backslide. And Rosie Bonbons does it and moves on to the quarterfinals. Hundred percent, I should damn well think so. Your winner moving on to the quarterfinals.
is rosy bonbons. And that is going to do it for this episode of Banger. We'll be back on Wednesday with another episode of Rami. Where we will have the next round of second round matches. And then next week on Banger, it's the quarterfinals. We will see you for both of those. Catch you later, everyone. Good night.